Nice. Good morning. Welcome to Valheim. This is going to be a very interesting game to cover because there is uh, a lot of very extensive mechanics that I want to cover, uh, that I wanted to talk about, and there is just there there is just <laughs> there's no good way to really com compact it all down into one single video. So what I'm going to do is. We're going to go over this thing in two sections, all right? Two videos. One is going to focus on building, and that's going to be today. Uh, building, gathering, basically like kind of like you're, you're getting started. This is what you should expect to do. And then two is going to be focused primarily on combat, uh, exploring, stuff like that. We're going to go into the dark forest and all that. So this is my current project. It is very much a work in progress, uh, as is everything that you do in the game. <laughs> it's a one constant work in progress. Uh, it is a tri story. It's very sexy. It's gonna have a bedroom, master bedroom up there. Yeah, put some shag carpet down. Yeah, got a nice view. Look at this. Oh baby. Oh man, that is just that is just beautiful. <laughs> That's why I picked this spot. That building's eventually gonna go. But 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 for now it stays because it's uh, got a totem in it, and the totem will protect my shit in case anybody wants to come over and mess with it. Talking about other players. It's actually right in here. I'll show you. There it is. Right in there. I could toggle it off and on if I want. So if I want people to come help me, I can turn it off. And then uh, they could assist me in building in my area. Uh, or I could turn it off. Now, it's mostly just on right now because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of building stuff. And I just don't want anyone touching my stuff. Um, but they're free to come back. Portal leads actually leads to a hub where other players are. And I think we actually have Yesha Poopies on right now. Uh, we had a few people on earlier. There's some people that actually are not showing up on the map. You can see the map here has a whole bunch of random like locations and everything. And we'll explore some of those in the next video. Uh, but what I'm going to do today, like I said, we're going to focus. Of course, it's freaking raining. It was beautiful this morning. Uh, we're going to focus primarily on the building aspect. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to basically go out of this open field. And then I'm going to go ahead and build just to show you guys this aspect because this part is so, so, so well done. Uh, and it gives you so much flexibility. Uh, am I being chased? Oh, yes, yeah, 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 these guys. There you go. I don't care what they drop. Let me see. But yeah, I want to be able to just just give you guys kind of an idea of what you're in for because y y there's like two types of people that play this game they're the ones that want to go through progression which there is progression uh there's uh, a number of different bosses that you can kind of slowly unlock and and um uh and basically absorb their powers and whatnot like in the bottom left corner i've defeated one of the bosses so i get that power uh, i believe there's another one as well but i don't think i got the buff for it we just killed another boss recently and i don't think i got the buff for it or the toggle for it i'm not quite sure i'll have to look into that later but for now we're gonna focus on building so i got this nice beautiful field out here of course it's raining oh my god so the game i mean the game is beautiful but you know at least you guys get to see the weather effects this is like a mild storm it's basically nothing um there are storms that are just wild like absolutely wild so i'm gonna get my hammer out and then we're gonna go ahead and select uh we're gonna go ahead and make a uh, a crafting table or a workbench rather basically a crafting table uh you put that down and this allows you to build you see that circle in the area here that allows me to build anywhere within that circle got it got it okay so now i can start building so the first thing you want to do is put down some some posts right um now you have a hoe that you might be able to use you get that pretty early on but at the, right right off the bat you don't get it so we're, we're not going to use it the hoe will allow you to um flatten the, the ground a little bit but like I said, initially you don't get it, so you're going to have to start with just plopping down a post and just hoping you can keep it kind of level. We'll go like this, like right here, and then we'll take a board here. Now, this thing is rooted in the ground, so it's blue, right? I believe that's what blue means, because every time, every time I put something in the ground, it's blue. Um, now, when I attach something to it, we'll just attach this guy just basically anywhere. I think just as long as we get near the top there. There we go. Uh, so notice that's green. The next one is green. Uh, maybe a little chartreuse. Next one, uh, we're getting kind of red. And then the fourth one here goes red. And then, oh, it's still standing. Still standing. Let's go and put this one here in the end. This one is, oh, it's in the ground. Dang it. Okay, let me go break that one real quick. Middle click will break it. Pull one right here. There we go. That'll break. 
Bam, there we go. So there is some degree of structural integrity. Uh, and it is reliant on you putting posts to the ground. Now, these are like your base level posts, right? Like your num your your tier one posts. They're gonna allow you to build up to a certain degree, a certain height, and then they're gonna just start giving out. Like there's no amount of posts that's gonna save you. Um, you can get creative and, and get like a mix and match of these posts and then the tier two posts that you're gonna get, which is what I did to build the, uh, the tri-story over there. Um, you can get creative with that. But it, to get started, you're gonna be yeah, uh, you're gonna be using these tier ones. Uh, so by putting this into the ground right here, it gave me a little bit of support. So you can see these things have turned green. The middle one is still a little bit stressed, uh, but we can start building off of that. Just start expanding this here. Now, because uh, all this is exposed to the elements, uh, I am uh, slow. It's slowly gonna start taking damage. Now it takes days for this to happen. Whoops. Uh, it takes days for this to happen, so it's not like something that you, while you're building, it's gonna, it's gonna start uh, degrading or anything like that. Although, actually, you know what? Uh, a couple of them looks like, uh, yeah, they have actually. Maybe it's the rain that's actually speed up. Look at that; the health has gone down just a little bit. Uh, the reason why is because um, uh, they, they add, they want you to use uh, proper roofing. Let me go ahead and put a post here on, on these corners. This is at this point, you could basically kill this guy and then start expanding this out a little bit better here. That thing is red. There we go. Now it's green. Yellow, yellow, yellow. No problem. I could eat another bite. I guess I could. I was gonna put a couple of these down just to make it look sexy. There we go. A couple more of these. I should attach to the end here. Oh, I guess not, huh? Maybe it's a little bit too high or too low. And meanwhile, this one here is. Uh, oh, it's in the ground. Okay. That's not gonna work. Okay, so it's gonna have one gap without, uh... I keep hearing sounds. <laughs> like a mob's gonna stick up on me, which they do, by the way. Gonna get some stairs. Oh, fuck, God damn it! <laughs> Top's here. <laughs> we'll put some stairs so we can get up here and walk around. Then we can put some walls. So yeah, these floors do not work as walls. They want you to use the the actual walls, um, or the actual ceilings, uh, or roof, hatch roofs, as the uh, as your actual roof. Flat walls, or flat floors as wall as ceilings does not count. So this is a very boring Minecraft-esque structure here. We're gonna we're just basically putting this down so that way we, we can uh, kind of expand and try some different things here, and also uh, do some reinforcement and whatnot. Because once we get to the top, we're gonna start running into problems with structural integrity. Now you do have an option here. You notice how it kind of snaps into place, which is great. You can hold down Shift, so you can kind of move it wherever you want. So if you want to get really weird with some of your some of your buildings and you know you can rotate it any kind of weird random direction and then hold down shift and move it wherever you want you could just like boom and then like do this and then it's like all of a sudden it's burning man or some shit look at this oh my god it's amazing that you could break that and then the rest will slowly start to turn red and then they'll slowly still break let's get the process there we go i'd imagine uh i don't think i'm visible on the map so top's not gonna be able to find me i'm just gonna hide in this <laughs> new house we just built there we go Missing requirement. Oh gosh, you're missing missing wood. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see. I am missing wood. So let's go out here to the forest. This is gonna be a very common thing for you to do. I only wanted to bring enough to get us started, not necessarily enough to finish the job. You're always gonna counter these guys here. Get a little block. There you go. Right click block. And then let's see five. Chop down some trees. So there are some interesting tree mechanics. You guys are gonna love this. So first, we're gonna break this thing down. It's gonna fall over. Uh oh, oh, it's already, it's already doing my work for me. <laughs> so, okay, just resting on this one. But this tree has has taken damage because of that hit. So now they're both gonna fall. Probably one is probably gonna hit the other and break another. Oh, there you go. Chain reaction. Oh, 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 oh. Do some more damage over there. It's. It is very possible to um, to start a chain reaction. You can't really control the direction they go in or anything like that. Oh god, where's the other one gonna fall? Oh good. Um, you can't really change the direction or anything, uh, but you can. Um, well, I'll show you in a second. You can't. Oh boy, that was close. Yes, there is physics. They will break. They will uh, hurt you if you're not careful. So we got some wood that's kind of falling off already. We got to hack these things in half here. Um, so what I want to show you is there are certain kind of trees you can't break with your with your starting axe. Starting axe here. And so, like, for example, this guy right here, this is Birch. Yeah, Birch. So it says, too hard, too hard. Dang. 
So, <laughs> what a problem to have. Um, Grey Dwarf. Uh, let me see. I don't think I can break these either. Oh, guy's just throwing rocks at me. A chump. I can break. I guess I can do fur. Oh gosh. Hold on. Let me stab you. I'm trying to do a video here, dog. Come on. All right. Let me see if I can get this thing to fall in the direction I want it to fall. Into the birch. Oh, another birch over there. No, not really that way. Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Here's what I'll do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're, we got a fight going on. I'm pulling out the shield now. Come on, come on, come on. Hit it. My knife skill is pretty high, so... I don't necessarily have to worry about... Uh, damage. I'm trying to actually uh, worry about wasting a bunch of stamina on... Stabbing these dudes. Alright, so... What I want to show you is that... When you roll logs, you see how these things break? You can actually roll them against a tree like that, that you can't break with your with your axe, and then get that wood. Uh, you can also, let's see if I, our friend here will uh, cooperate. I'm just going to move this. Oh, it's in the way there. Okay, let me see. Ooh, uh, so push it back. Oh, chump. Oh, ah. <laughs> get out of here, dude. Come on. <laughs> you don't feel rested anymore. Yeah, I'm wet. Upper right corner wet. My stamina has basically been uh, slowed. Some stamina regeneration. I'm sneaky though. That has to do with the armor that I armor set that I've crafted. We're gonna get into that too. Basic crafting stuff. Come on, regen, regen. And there is a pretty easy ways to get your um, stamina to regen more quickly. Um, so first, what I'll do is well. First thing I should do is expand my, my stamina. So, bottom left corner here, you can see your health. We're going to eat. You see how that bar increases to this right here? And so that's going to slowly regenerate. And you can see the food makes up this much extra health. It's slowly coming down, too. Now, if I eat a mushroom, it takes up slot number two. If I eat another mushroom, it takes up slot number three. Now, and you look up over right here on my character, you'll see uh, like, a, like a hot. There it is. Plus three. It's going to tick, tick, tick all the way until it's full. Um... And that's gonna just allow me to, uh, uh, to one, have regeneration, and two, uh, also, oh good, finally the sun comes out. Oh god, it's just a uh, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the pixels on this tree. The aesthetic they chose for this works really well. Like, it's a low poly, low, low, low bit texture, uh, and it looks really good, especially when it's clustered like this. That's really, really, really good. Gonna hit this a few more times. Huh. Huh. Try to collect as much wood as possible here. There we go. I actually had a huge oak that I knocked down. I think it's all the way on the other side of the field over there. And I just uh, took that oak and uh, would roll it against other trees because it did so much damage. That boar was just beating up my workbench. <laughs> I'm trying to work here, guy. Everybody's out to get me. But this is the kind of stuff you're going to deal with when you get in play. And you know what? Like, it's great. Like, it's it's so easy to get lost just in, just in building. Exploring is a whole nother a whole nother ball game. Like, you go and start exploring. You're like, all right, I'm gonna pack up on food and all this stuff. Uh, and you just start exploring, and the next thing you know, it's just like it's like an hour later, which is why I'm doing two videos. <laughs> so let me put down. Uh, we'll put down. Uh, we'll put on stairs. Sure. Put it right here. We'll attach it to this. That'll get us up here at least. There we go. Okay. Now we can start putting our roof on here. And this is where you're going to start running into structural issues here. And this is what we're going we're gonna to have to troubleshoot it. Now, I've never built a house like quite like this. I mean, like, every time you build something, it's going to be a little bit different, right? Um, now, I can put a little corner piece on this if you want to get fancy. There we go. I shouldn't really lock myself out of that corner, actually. I'm just going to... Tight rope this. You can put down a uh, special, well not special, but like one meter tall, or uh, one meter by one meter, little little tiny uh, platforms like this. I use these sometimes as like kind of uh, makeshift scaffolding. That way I could just kind of rest on this and, and, and put things up and all that. And then you just break it whenever. You get a pretty good distance in terms of uh, breaking things. So you know I think it will block that. It's fine. 
We're not making it as a two-story. It's going to make it a nice one-story. We'll put windows in and all that. There's no glass. <laughs> Be mindful of that. There's no glass. Thank God I'd run into that shit like constantly if that was the case. Uh, there we go. Ooh, I'm going to run into a little bit of problem. I don't know how to handle that. Oh, I guess it's fine, actually. So these yellow? Yeah, it's fine. How oh, are these guys hanging on? Oh, good, good. Actually, everything's doing fine. This is a pretty basic house, so yeah, I guess it's not really that, uh, we're not going to too many structural issues, but we're going to go ahead and deck it out anyway. This is just the basics. Four, four walls, one ceiling, <laughs> and let's see, um, put this guy up. Oh, this is going to be the challenge. Okay, how am I going to get that up here? Oh, that thing was in and all crooked. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Break that, fix it. Is that the right one? Yeah. Bam, there we go. So this has got to sit up top here. Will it actually rest? Yes, it will. Good. Okay, so you have a basic house here, right? Very basic. Now, you want a, you want a heat source, right? So you're gonna go ahead and put down a, uh, can I build a fire? A small campfire? I need stone for a campfire, don't I? Where is it at? Uh, yeah, right here, I need stone. Five stone, that should be no problem. Uh, push all the buttons of the one I need. I'm gonna get 163, yeah, we'll go find some stone. Now you're gonna have to go out and find just regular stone, okay? Just ignore this part. <laughs> you find stone laying on the ground. I find stone using this, my magic, my magic pick. There we go, okay. Oh, we're gonna put a door up too. Do, do, do. What a fancy little door. Ah, so cozy. No lights or anything. That's what we're gonna put on a fire. So we put down a fire. Oh, invalid placement. Why? Oh, it's not gonna be put it here. It has to be on the floor. Mm, okay, we'll do this. That'll do the trick. There we go. So we put down a fire, and it's like ah, nice and cozy. Upper right corner it says comfort. Comfort is three. You see the smoke's rising. It's actually, is it actually going out there? That would ruin the fun if it did. Oh, it looks like it's starting to fill up here. Son of a bitch. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Look at the smoke creeping across here. So what I wanted to show you, which didn't work, uh, because apparently this opening is enough for this fire, <laughs> was that you will, uh, you can, you actually do need ventilation. This is not enough. This will eventually the volume here will eventually fill up with smoke. Um, at least I think it will. Yeah, it's starting to fill up a little bit. Um, and so you do have to build sort of a chimney system if you want to have a fire that actually uh, works correctly without smoking out your room like this. Yeah, here it is. Look at this. Isn't that great? Man, little shit like this. If I come up here, come up here. Look at it. It's just smoked. I start taking damage. <laughs> smoke inhalation. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually break this. Boop, like that. And then we'll step out here real quick. I don't need to step out here. We're gonna go and put up a, some walls and some ceilings. Boop. Okay, we will step out here. It is easier that way. Bam. We want this to be kind of covered too, because otherwise when it rains, it'll just get... Uh, Let's so get destroyed. So what we'll do is we will put up a uh, cross hatch like this. There we go. I think like this will do the trick. As long as it has some space to get out, that's all you need. And also you don't want them to uh, it to have space to get in. You don't have to do it like this. There's probably other ways of doing it. Like this is probably pretty <laughs> ridiculous. But uh, so you could do it however you want. But um, we're gonna do it this way today. Come on. Spin, spin. What did I put it think, down here? There it is. There we go. Son of a bitch. So there's a, there's a few people on right now. How many people are on? Uh, four of us. Okay, cool. You got ten people on a server, by the way. Which is like, I mean, given how people are kind of uh, off and on, it's the dumbest looking chimney ever. <laughs> but it's going to be rain resistant, okay? Uh, which we won't see any rain anymore. Ooh, look at that. Oh, the fog, the fog was rolling in. The fog does roll in. It is sick, man. The, the, the weather system, the weather patterns and all that stuff is just so good. All right, let me see. Miscellaneous fire. We'll put a fire down. Uh, 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 uh. Bam. Then we'll put down our floor. Come on, get in there. Right there. There you go. Now, you're also going to need a way to cook some food. 
so we're gonna put the, this uh, this rack over here. Now listen, you can have more than one. People have stacked tons on these things on one fire, so you don't have to put just one right here and just put two 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 things to cook. You could just put, you could go through and go like one, two, three, and now you have a rack that does three. Look at the lighting, it's fantastic. Okay, let me see. Now I have some food, don't I? Don't I have some food? I killed a couple things. Let's go kill something real quick. I kill. I didn't really kill too many boars. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's a deer over there. This is gonna be part of your daily routine anyway, so you guys are gonna have to get used to this. We're gonna sneak over here. There's a sneak mechanic. You see the eyeball there? It says I'm not seeing. Oh, he's a little out of range here. Uh, oh, there's three of them. Let me see if I can get him. Got him. Oh, oh no, I did miss them. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Uh, this one's running. Doesn't know where to run into. Did I get him too? No, I don't think so. Yes, sure did. This one's coming over here. Where is he at? There he is. Gotta let it go before the stamina runs out. There it is. Wow, one, two, three! Man! Never do that on stream. <laughs> it never works out that way. Cool, we got some raw meat. That's what we were going for. Got some added bonus other things too. There you go. Got raw meat and a deer trophy. Ooh, you guys will figure out what that's for later. Alright. Nighttime. Look at this boar over here. Look at this boar hitting and run. Get out of here, boar. Yeah, that's way over. I should have shot that shot. Now now I look now I look dumb. <laughs> now I look bad. Dang it. Alright, so now we come over here. One, two, one, two, one, two. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. Oh, we got a lot of meat from that. That's pretty good. Three deers. They don't always I don't think they I don't think they always give two each. So we'll give them a second. Now you don't want to overcook them, okay? You can overcook them, but that's 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 a story for like ten videos from now. <laughs> Look at that, right there. That's that's uh, medium rare, I think. Boop, 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 boop. Couple punches, walk in, grab it. Great. And I have six meat. Just motherfucking boar. Boy, I'm telling, boy, I'm telling you. All right, you know what? This motherfucker keeps going. He's punking me over here, isn't he? There we go. We'll break it down. Come in here. God, it's so dark. It's so dark. You have to have light. You know, like I have a torch. There. How's that? <laughs> then I pull out my hammer. So I can build something, and it's gone. I got some resin, didn't I? Oh, workbench. Yes, of course. So yes, let's build a workbench. Workbench. We'll put it right here next to the door. I should put it over here, next to this cozy little workspace. And we'll actually go ahead and break this down too. So we'll break this, 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 and this. Be careful with the middle clicking. You will you will middle click something out of existence that you really need, and then your entire building will fall apart if you're not careful. So be careful. Alright. So uh now we're gonna go ahead and right click, go to this. There we go. And we'll put a couple of these up in the corners. Like little floor lamps, the ones you get from Walmart. I love those things. There we go. Bam! Look at this. Ah! Now you also need a bed. The bed is what tells you that tells the game where you want to uh, your spawn to be. Now I don't want my spawn to be here, but I'm gonna put that there anyways, just so you can see. So this is like a basic. This is your basic starter uh, house. Um, you can put in little gaps in the walls if you want to, in order to uh, have uh, like a little maybe a view or something. Uh, and the way you would do that is you could just take. Um, Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna say that a million times. It just doesn't get old. Now imagine a, like a lightning storm like this while you are trekking through the woods in the dark forest and getting attacked left and right. That's the next video, all right? <laughs> if you're not already sold on the game right now and I gotta show you like exploring the woods and all that stuff, then so be it. Now, because I'm resting, the upper right corner, you can see I have a rested buff. That rested buff gives me a, uh, let me see, health regen plus 50% and stamina regen 100%. Very, very, very handy. But the second I step outside, I'm going to be wet, and that's going to negate some of that. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and break down some of these walls here. We'll go this one and this one. And now I'm exposed. Um, let me see. 
I'm technically still in shelter, actually, so I could leave this up just like this and have just this wide open area here, but we're not gonna do that because it looks tacky. And then we're gonna put this here and put this here. Look at that, now you have a nice little window. Now there is a limit to how much you could, yeah, so as I stand next to the window, it says I'm no longer sheltered. So there's a limit to how much exposed area you can have before the game just decides, nah, son, you're not, that's, that's not shelter. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, see, this is still good. I mean, it's a great view of the storm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so it's no longer, I have to step back here. Oh, this is shelter. Yeah, see, so it's now it's kind of expanded. Oh, the light coming in, lightning on the floor there. Shoo-wee. It's beautiful. Now, is this too exposed? No, it's not. So when you first start out, you only get a handful of things to build, right? By the way, this is your repair button. Free repairs. Your shit never breaks. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing, okay? Um, now, you get a basic, a basic number of things that you can you could go ahead and, and, and build. Or, yeah, you can, uh, 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 tools you can uh, construct and all that. Um, and they just help you. Like, your hoe, yeah, your hoe is one of your first ones you can build. I recommend doing that. That way you can flatten the land out and do some work uh, and kind of like pre-plan your environments, uh, your building environments. Let me see, what else can I show you build-wise here? Let me see. How the storm is amazing, so good. Let me see, so when you first start out, you're, you pretty much get all this stuff. Like there's no like unlock system where you don't have, the only thing you don't, you're not gonna have access to is like some of the stuff down here, I believe. Like these bottom ones here, I think are not there when you first start out. So you do get this stuff. Now, um, what you wanna do is, as you're building, if you wanna build, build bigger than this, you're gonna have to start using some of these beam supports in order to um, in order to prevent it from like for example you see how this is like red this is yellow like these things are angry <laughs> so what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and build across here just to build another support nope missing requirement oh I'm missing wood oh my god I got chopped wood in the rain here we go. Where are those, where are those logs at? You know, I just felled a ton of trees over here. There we go. See, plenty of times we're gonna be out working. Let's turn around so we get a good view of this. Look at this. Plenty of times we're gonna be out working in the, in the rain and the... There's no snow, but there is... Well, there's no, uh, snow down here. Wow. Uh, but there is, uh, there are mountains and there's snow up there and it will, you will freeze. Um... The two biomes that I've fully explored are the... Uh, oh, here we go. We can get a good swing on these guys. Hold on. Uh, are the meadows, which is what you're looking at here, and the the, the dark forest, uh, or black forest, whatever, um, which I'll show you guys again in the next video here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this some swing in. Uh, and then start a chain reaction. There it is. Oh, God, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. we got a brute. Oh, snap. This guy's serious. Now, uh, I believe that the... Um... Oh, great. That guy heals. Hold on. I need my... Woo. I need my stamina regen here. Just eat. I'm going to activate this. I'm going to take a hit, but I'm going to activate this just so I can... Maneuver a little bit better here. And I have to worry about stamina. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh. No, he got me with his poison bullshit. Okay, this is... This is rough. This is really rough because... Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh the log! <laughs> I was hoping to show you the death thing uh, when we covered the combat, but... I suppose we could start now. <laughs> Great. Oh, tops here. Oh, and I'm naked. Jeez. Hi, top. Jeez. He's probably stuck inside, goofing off. I'm gonna go get my body. So yes, it's a corpse run. In the rain. That fence is not there for other players. It's there for the the waves of. As you saw, the dwarves and the dwarf shaman and the brutes and all of them, so that's what it's really for. Now I'm cold, wet, and naked. But we get such a beautiful view. So when you when you die, uh, you just gotta go pick up your stuff. 
I think there's like probably some skill like you, you skill points you lose maybe or something like that but that was just something that somebody said I don't I haven't really verified that personally um, I can just tell you though is like the, the further up you get in levels the less you notice that you are you know uh, if you're missing any kind of like one level skill or something like that like you have 36 levels like that you're you're gonna be at after several hours in the game so and you in order to raise your skill you just do stuff like you just do you know oh day 70 day 70 so it's about a 30 minute uh what the fuck was that all about where is he even at hold on a sec where is he at always oh, way down there who knows and it's recovered um so it's about 30 minute um day night cycle i mean just because it's daytime doesn't mean uh he's really so <laughs> <laughs> oh man they don't know I'm making a video by the way they have no idea let's go put some clothes on here we got our logs we got a few we didn't need too much get dressed there we go jeez it's a nightmare <laughs> well it's daytime now so what were we gonna do jeez <laughs> uh, let's this wood up here that'll help Ah, yes, the support beams. That's right. We were still focusing on building. Anyways, you could you could build, so you could put up support beams to help uh, help with structural integrity. And this stuff is pretty important, right? Like you want you you don't when you start building, you don't want your shit to fall apart. Look at its green now. Oh, chartreuse. Um, you don't want to get to the point where I was last night when I was not sure how this structural integrity bullshit worked. There you go. That's better. Um, and I was building and there was an area that just would not, would not build. And I didn't know why, because I didn't understand the system. I was just kind of like learning the game as I went along. Uh, and the game doesn't necessarily uh, explain too much, right? Like it, it is, uh, it is a, an early access uh, title. Uh, so it is, uh, we need a campfire in your portal area. Anyway, so yeah, it is it is a <laughs> it is an early access title. Uh, so usually the tutorial stuff comes later. Think like space engineers and don't starve and stuff like that. Like they, they well don't starve still doesn't really teach you much. <laughs> that's kind of the that's kind of what makes the game so great. Um, but yeah, there that's the kind of stuff that they will probably go ahead and put in at another time. Let me decorate. No way. Are you kidding me? That's the reason why everything's locked. See, I'm so glad you guys are here right now watching this on YouTube because now you understand why I keep things locked because Top's going to fucking smoke a bowl and he's going to go through and decorate my whole fucking place. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that at all. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, structural integrity, big deal. <laughs> That's something you want to do. Uh, now I guess you could start, I mean, you know, just to wrap this up, like, you know, I guess you could start, um, getting fancy if you want, right? Like, you can, you can build this out a little bit and maybe turn this into a, uh, there we go, put a couple of these down. Make a nice little patio, which is not too hard to do. It'll also, uh, create a little bit more space. Actually, you know, this is a good opportunity to show you, uh, one, I'm gonna use the pickaxe to bring this floor down here, so, boom. There we go. Not much of a patio if it's on the ground. Gotta have a deck, baby. That's right, building a deck. Pickaxe first, then we'll hoe it, hoe it down. We'll hoe it down. <laughs> there you go. The sun's trying. The sun's trying to creep through. You know, this is great, though. I'm really, I'm really glad that uh, during the scope of one, you know, 30, 45 minute video, that I was able to show you guys so many different weather patterns. Because it, in my head, when I was trying to plan out how I was gonna do this episode. Uh, I was thinking like one thing I want you guys to see is what the fuck uh, is the weather patterns um, Cuz there's sometimes you go through like, you know, you go you go a couple of days without rain or anything like that And so you want to have uh, so I want I wanted to give you guys the full gamut and you guys fucking got it. Holy shit <laughs> Like it's pretty fucking good. Let's see. All right, so now we're gonna go and put down the uh, put down a post to we'll put out the end here oh, uh, It wants me to put this one will probably lock it in. There it is. And then we'll put a couple of these guys down. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. You, again, you don't have to do it this many. Like this, I'm totally going overkill here. Uh, because I like just aesthetically how it looks to have a whole bunch there. Oh, it's not really on the ground. Just ignore that. All right, so we'll go six. And now we can right-click and we're going to go ahead and kind of just level it out a little bit. There we go. Get rid of some of these hard edges. 
And there is a way to make grass. I'm not entirely sure what that is, though. I don't know if that's a later thing or what. I haven't really messed with it. I don't really care about grass. <laughs> so... There we go. It does take stamina to do this, though. There we go. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. We're gonna have a view of... Oh, the trees and everything? That's fine. That's fine. I should have built the deck the other way. That was kind of bad planning on my part. Sorry. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and put a couple more posts. This is how you get stuck. This is how you get stuck in the game, right? Because just like this. It's like, okay, well, now I gotta go get some more... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Budget Murloc. Uh, so now I gotta get some more wood. And this is you at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, after playing all freaking nights, uh, just just like oh one more one more blank one more whatever, and you're just here for the rest of your life, just doing all kinds of little changes. Oh, I need a little bit more wood, and then I could go back and do blank. All right, we got to build this deck, and then we're out of here. That's all. Just one deck, just one. Come on, give it to me. And you're not gonna take out this one for me. Come on, friend. You can hit the stumps too, by the way. You can take those out if you want. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that one broke. That's good. You don't need much, I don't think. Just probably these two. Probably suffice. Or these four now. I'm just gonna roll this guy over here. Yeah. See? This is what I'm talking about. You get yourself an oak and start rolling that bitch all over the place. <laughs> Unstoppable. Unstoppable. There we go. You see that raspberry bush back there? That's how you get random fruits and vegetables and shit. You can basically just pick them up off the ground. There's a dandelion right there. I don't know what you could use it for. There's all kinds of little things that you could pick up. And I, I, I'm still learning the game. And I am uh, 25 hours in. <laughs> I, I'm still nowhere. Because I spent so much time into just building. Because I'm doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Which is, let's just do one more thing, let's just do one more thing, and I'll just show you this one more thing, and then we'll get out of here. And then what happens? This. This is what happens. Alright, so we're gonna make this kind of cool little patio deck kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna like this at all. It's gonna get pretty red in the middle there, so I'll do this. There we go. And then... God, it's so hideous, that, that chimney. <laughs> The worst chimney chimney I've ever seen. There you go. Now I can take this and put a put like a thatch roof that's angled heavily. That way we could go up, go up and come down with it real quick. There you go. This way provides some kind of cover. And maybe counts as shelter inside a bit. Look at that. There we go. And then we'll put a half wall around here. Mm -hmm. This. Oh, ah, okay. Look at that. Look at, man, look at this place. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just a simple house. Just so simple. I don't have any furniture or anything yet, but just imagine that I built some furniture. Ah, oh, here we go. Mm. It's so homey. It's so homey. <laughs> uh, so that's it. That's the building portion of. <laughs> of Valheim. <laughs> the game is currently available. I feel rested. Comfort level five. You know what adds the extra comfort? I think it's the damn, it's the damn rug. It's the rug because I don't have a rug in my new place or my, uh, my, uh, temporary place, but my single player server, I do. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Anyway, so that's the building section of of Valheim, um, it is, I mean, it, it really is a game that's gonna get you trapped. Think like Satisfactory, think like Ark, think like, think, think of games where you just feel like you need just one more, just one more day, one more whatever, let me just collect this thing, like spaces, let me collect one more thing so I could do this, like, this, it just, it, it just doesn't stop. Um, it's crack, it, it really is, and, uh, and I'm hooked, and I'm hooked. And I'm not going to be, I'm going to go camping. You guys are going to see this after I get back from camping, but I'm going camping this weekend. Um, and so, like, I'm going to be gone from this game for, like, three whole days. And I'm really upset about that. So, yep, that's it. My name is Mike B. I'm going to record another for the combat section. And um, you guys will see that on Thursday. Cool. Have a good day. Bye.